I'm really proud of us. You know, um, I'm so proud of I'm so proud of my wife. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the best times famous faces went to bat for their significant other in interviews. What truly made me fall in love with Barack Obama? Now here's the secret. Get in a little closer. Number 10, Jason Sudeikis on Olivia Wilde. It's weird and, you know, <laughs> uh, it's, you know, it's, it's funny. It's a weird, funny experience. Even though they aren't together anymore, Hollywood couple Sudeikis and Wilde began dating in 2011, and during their relationship, they had two children. In 2014, Wilde had a photo shoot with Glamour that drew controversy from some as she was snapped breastfeeding her son. He came to work and I had to feed him, and either I was going to do it off camera or on, and I thought, you know what, shoot it, because this is part of my real life. While critics got weird about it, Sudeikis stuck up for his partner during an interview with Access Hollywood. Calling the image as one of a, quote, working mom and, quote, great, the Ted Lasso star said it wasn't planned. Their son just needed feeding as the shoot was going on. Sudeikis also diffused the situation by pointing out their kid had peed all over a designer dress, which received little reaction in comparison. I heard Otis may or may not have ruined that gorgeous dress. Yes, yes, he christened it. He did. Number nine, Kristen Bell on Dax Shepard. After starting dating in 2007, Bell and Shepard famously refused to get married until same-sex couples in California were able to. It doesn't boil down to anything other than if someone else wants to commit their life to another person, why would I not bolster that argument? Eventually, they tied the knot in 2013 and had two kids. Jumping forward to 2017, the duo was starring in Chips, which Shepard directed and wrote. However, there was criticism that the film was homophobic and sexist. Hey! Hey, what's up? I'm right in the middle of giving a swim lesson. Oh, sorry. Bell spoke to the Associated Press about the accusations. She stated the point of Chips was to explore such themes. The Good Place alumni also claimed that Shepard was the, quote, most unhomophobic person you could ever find, as Bell alluded to why they delayed their 2013 marriage. We're not gonna have a party and invite our friends, half of whom can't do that thing. They, we're not gonna ask they them to come celebrate a right that they don't right. have. That's just tacky. Number eight, Robert Pattinson on FKA Twigs. Since becoming a star after Twilight and the fallout from dating Kristen Stewart, Pattinson's love life has been a fascination of fans and the media. He's totally gorgeous, obviously, but apparently nobody here is good enough for him. <laughs> like I care. In 2014, he began dating FKA Twigs, and the duo soon got engaged. Sadly, some people took this as an opportunity to make racist comments about her. In 2015, Pattinson spoke to NME, and the topic was brought up. He called people who send such comments, quote, demons who live in basements. He also told a story about telling his dad that if they looked up Nelson Mandela's funeral on YouTube, one of the top comments would be racist. And it was. Pattinson added that due to these people being a, quote, faceless blob, battling them only draws more attention to their hatred. I think it's just professional trolls. Well, not that professional troll, but it's yeah. just people, they get so addicted to kind of just wanting to cause hurt and pain on someone. And it's sort of, and it's just one of the most difficult things to know how to, how to confront, really. Number seven, Hugh Jackman on Deborah Lee Furness. Deb knows how to live life to the full, every day. Don't you, bum? I try. Before announcing their separation in 2023, Jackman and Furness seemed like a fairy tale marriage from the outside. They broke the mold of the man being the eldest when there's an age gap, with Furness being almost 13 years older. Were you reluctant? So reluctant. My New Year's resolution was I'm not dating any actors and definitely none under 30. Meet my husband. <laughs> Yet rather than celebrate this, some people took shots at their marriage. In 2013, Jackman spoke about rumors he was gay by stating to The Hollywood Reporter that it, quote, bugs his wife. With good housekeeping, he commented he felt sorry for the people who believed the rumor and that he worries for Furness. Over the years, the Logan actor has praised Furness in many interviews, even calling her the greatest thing that ever happened to him when speaking to Ellen DeGeneres in 2016. It gets better and better, I can honestly say that, and she's not even watching, the, she's not even here. Number six, Javier Bardem on Penelope Cruz. Yo creo que va a llover más tarde, llover seguro. In English. Oh no, it's fine. 
After working together during filming for 2008's Vicky Cristina Barcelona, Bardem and Cruz soon began dating, got married in 2010, and had two children. The acting powerhouses have worked together on several projects over the years. In 2018, during a press conference for Everybody Knows, one reporter decided a sexist joke was appropriate. Javier, ¿cómo se siente ser el único hombre del mundo? Que disfruta trabajando con su mujer. Yikes. After taking a moment to absorb the audacity and shake his head, Bardem, in Spanish, responded that the question was in extremely bad taste, getting a round of applause from those in the audience. La pregunta es de una falta de gusto tremenda. Number 5. Pierce Brosnan on Keely Shea Smith after losing his first wife, Cassandra Harris, to cancer in 1991, Brosnan met Smith in 1994. The duo married in 2001 and had two sons together. Having family life, having movie life, getting away with it all, and just having a great time. How many kids do you have now? Five. Five? But it's, it's a long story, it's but, a long story. but we have... And it's a good one, right? It's a good one. Over the years, while the Irish actor has been praised for aging, some trolls have taken shots at Smith. This sparked Brosnan to defend his wife on social media, criticizing friends and fans who've body shamed her. In various interviews, the former James Bond performer has praised Smith as a partner and parent. She's a journalist, she's a reporter, she's an artist in her own right, and as a woman, she has, you know, made a family for our sons, now family, many boys. In 2023, when speaking to Fox News, he implicitly referenced those ridiculous comments about her looks. He mentioned that regardless of people changing appearances over the years from age or weight, it's the love in their hearts that counts. Watching someone grow up with you and grow old with you is a very spiritual journey. It's very, to watch each other change and, you know, Whatever it may be, the hair, the waist, but it's the love in the heart. Number four, Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. See, the thing about campaigning is that I get to say all these nice things about my husband and he doesn't always hear it. <laughs> So don't tell him how much I really love him. In 2012, the U.S. was gripped by the presidential election. Looking for his second term was Barack, who was attempting to fend off Republican candidate Mitt Romney. However, during their first debate, Barack seemingly struggled and was criticized for his performance. So the first lady, Michelle, stuck up for her husband. You see this in, you know, how he leads the country. I mean, he is very open to other people's opinions, and he's always willing to compromise, and he is always, always listening. Married since 1992 and having two children, she stated during a roundtable meeting that Barack had done a phenomenal job in the debate and during his first term. Michelle also pointed out that on the day following the debate, they went to a rally with 35,000 people in Madison, Wisconsin, showing how unbothered they and his supporters were with the criticism. I believe in you. I'm asking you to keep believing in me. I'm asking for your vote. And if you stand with me and work with me, we will win Madison again. We'll win Wisconsin again. We'll finish what we started in 2008. Number three, Charlie Hunnam on Morgana McNellis. Thankfully, I have an incredible girlfriend who's very, very understanding and supportive. Fan jealousy can get really ugly. Since 2005, Hunnam has been dating McNellis, I've been with my girlfriend 11 years, and as anyone knows, it's been a long-term, fully monogamous relationship. During a 2012 L interview, he praised her jewelry work and promoted her company. In 2016, Hunnam had to speak against apparent fans of his on social media. They had made a habit of insulting McNellis over things like her appearance. On his Facebook fan page, the actor asked them to stop slandering McNellis and praised her. Hunnam followed the post with a video to confirm he had posted the message. In 2020, after stating he was indifferent to marriage, Hunnam apologized to McNellis during an interview with Too Fab for hurting her feelings with his previous comments on tying the knot. I suppose what I was trying to articulate is like, 
the official government sanction of it doesn't mean anything to me, but the romance of it means an enormous amount. Totally. So I really regret saying that. Number two. Justin Thoreau on Jennifer Aniston. In 2016, Aniston released an essay with the Huffington Post that criticized the media for body shaming her, as well as defending child-free women. Just because we're women, we have a uterus, we have a vagina, we have ovaries, we need to like get to work, lady. As opposed to, hello, freedom medal. We, have, we as women do a lot of incredible things in this world other than just one of her biggest supporters was her then-husband Thoreau. After dating in 2011, the two got married in 2015. Does she look that good tonight? Yeah, she does. Is she inside? She's inside. She made it in. Darn already. it. I know. Why didn't she I come? I wish I had why, why, I, I, wish I, I can got, show you that well, she's wearing something amazing. Well, on top of supporting the essay on Instagram, during an interview with Men's Health, Thoreau stated he was very proud of Aniston and called the shaming, quote, disgusting. The same year, in the wake of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's split announcement, Thoreau told the Sunday Times Magazine he was very proud of how she handled the media attention. Even after they separated, Thoreau still spoke highly of Aniston, even telling the Times in 2024 that he was still protective over her. I just adored him. I just, he was an easy person to talk with and he was just a good, a really good, became a good friend. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Prince Harry on Meghan Markle In 2021, Harry and Meghan sat down with Oprah Winfrey for an interview that not only shocked the world with bombshell revelations, but also showed just how much they mean to each other. Do you think in some way she saved you? Yeah, with, without question. There was, there was a bigger purpose. There was other forces at play, I think throughout this whole process. After starting to date in 2016, they got married in 2018 and have had two children together. Over the years, Harry has released several statements to defend Meghan against racist comments. Due to the intense media attention and issues with the UK royal family, they moved out of England. I took matters in, by that point, I took matters into my own hands. It was like, I need to do this for my family. This is not a surprise to anybody. It's really sad that it's got to this point but I've got to do something for my own mental health, for my wife's, um, and for, for Archie's as well. In this famous interview, the couple addressed the speculation and put their side out. Alongside standing in support as Megan spoke about her mental health, Harry stated that she, quote, saved him from that life, while she argued that he did that for her. He ultimately called it and was like, we've got to find a way for us, for Archie, and you made a decision that saved, well, certainly saved my life. What's a time a celebrity defended their significant other that warms your heart? Let us know in the comments. If I was not with Dev the last 20 years, I'd be a very boring person. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.